Katie, congratulations. Another good week for the Pirates. A couple of wins, a couple of conference wins. Uh, give us your recap of how the Pirates played last week against Whitman and Linfield. Uh, yeah, I thought we played. I thought we played well. I think we're continuing to get better um, against Whitman. Uh, they kind of did what we thought they'd do. You know, I think they're they're a talented team. They have talented players, and we knew at times it was going to be a battle. So for us coming into that night, we really wanted to try to maintain our consistency. And unfortunately, we had some lulls in the middle of sets two and three. But ultimately, I was proud of how we were able to pull it together on go on long extended um, scoring runs at the end to finish so really proud of um, their effort and not giving up and their resiliency and then taking that into uh, Friday night against Linfield um, yeah I thought we played pretty well from start to finish um, I really thought Linfield um, played about as well as they have been against us I mean it definitely wasn't easy I thought we had to battle hard for our points um, but was glad that they kind of maintained um, that urgency, you know, point for point. I didn't feel like they got complacent or, um, you know, or just started going through the motions. I think we really tried to dive into, you know, defensively and generating our offense from our defense and um, continuing to serve tough. Um, and yeah, and, and ultimately getting that three set victory and um, both on Wednesday and Friday. I think gives us a lot of momentum coming into this second half of our conference. Is that something that you guys go into a week, setting goals in terms of the number of sets you might allow? Mm -hmm. is, that, yeah. is that part of the process? You know, not specifically, but I think overall, like our girls really want to, you know, if we are consistent, if we are playing at our high level, we really believe that we should be able to win efficiently. And um, so for them, I think, yeah, getting three set victories um, yeah, helps. It makes a difference, and I think ultimately is a result of them coming in and focusing on the right things. You find yourself at the halfway point of the conference schedule, tied for first place with Pacific Lutheran and Puget Sound. Uh, overall, is this about where you had hoped this team would be at this point? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're, we're right in the running, and we're contending for you know a championship and that's kind of right where we wanted to be and we knew it wasn't going to be easy so it's no surprise to me that there's two other teams that are right there with us and you know potentially more depending on how things play out so you know for us I think just having that focus of taking one game at a time you know not trying to think ahead um, obviously you know first half of season is great but it really means nothing we haven't won anything yet we haven't proven anything yet so just trying to continue to focus on that one game ahead mentality. Speaking of which, you've got a pretty busy week ahead of you this week mm -hmm. with three matches in, in five nights. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the first time you've done it. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you've done it already a couple times this year, does that help you as you prepare going into this week? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that it, it helped us last time, even though we, we lost LCSC at home. Um, just having that ability to play against a great team really challenges us and exposes things that we know we need to continue to get better at. And so I felt like we really grew from the last time that we played them and lost um, and ended up playing better that weekend. So I'm hoping, obviously, we've gotten better, they've gotten better, but I'm hoping it'll be um, more competitive this time around and really continue to um, give us an opportunity just to compete against the best and see what that high level looks like.